Now, as we remember and reflect, the royal family enters a period of mourning. A state funeral is expected within the next two weeks. It will be a period of time when aspects of national life are put on hold. Daniela Ralph, BBC News. Let's go straight to Balmoral this morning. The gate's now familiar to many viewers. And just to the left of the gates there, many, many flowers laid in tribute late into last night and again early this morning. And Balmoral, of course, is where the senior members of the royal family all gathered yesterday, including King Charles III. Our correspondent, Nita McVeigh, is there for us this morning. And at least it's worth remembering that at the heart of what is a story that is having repercussions all around the world, many tributes being paid. This is a this is a story about a family who's lost a mother and a grandmother. Absolutely, Charlie. Uh, and it, you know, we have the continuity of the monarchy, but it, it must be remembered first and foremost, as you say, that uh, we have a new king who is mourning. Uh, the loss of his mother along with his uh, brothers and sister uh, grandchildren great-grandchildren uh, mourning the loss of a grandmother a great-grandmother and of course many people around the uk around the world uh, see the queen as that great matriarch and um it's less than 24 hours since we heard the news the news that her doctors were really concerned about her health and then the news that her family uh, were on their way to be by her bedside, uh, which obviously added to the concern. So, so much has changed in the last 24 hours, uh, yet you have that continuity of the royal family and the, the duties that King Charles III must now take on. So, uh, those members of the royal family who travelled here yesterday to be uh, with the Queen, they are still here at Balmoral. We do know that King Charles III, and doesn't that sound strange, I think, to everyone to still to try to get used to that idea of talking about a king rather than a queen as monarch. Uh, he and the Queen Consort Camilla will travel back uh, to London later today. Amongst the duties that he will have uh, are meetings with senior royal and government officials to plan what will happen over the next few days, those days of mourning. Uh, we don't know what the plans are for the rest of the royal family yet, who are here at Balmoral, but we should uh, find more out later on today, certainly over the next 24 to 36 hours, much more of the detail of what will happen in the coming week or so will begin to emerge. Anita Balmoral was, uh, uh, in her own words, the Queen's happy place, wasn't it? It was a place for many, many years where she and her family could have special times away from the camera. That must be comfort for, for the family being there now. And many of the images people will remember are of uh, family times, having barbecues, having picnics in the grounds there. Yes, even uh, from uh, uh, her childhood, you know, she was talking about this place, Balmoral, as being a, a source of great happiness to her. It was something that was reflected uh, in documentaries recently from other members of the royal family saying that this was the Queen's happy place. And also the First Minister of Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon, saying in her remarks that she hoped her family would take comfort from the fact that she spent her final days here in a place um, that means so much. And I think if we just look at one image of the Queen and her beloved Prince Philip uh, having a picnic here at Balmoral. Um, that was taken uh, by uh, the Countess of Wessex, released from her uh, private album, uh, a beautiful image of the two of them. Uh, and of course, we must remember that just three days ago, the Queen was still carrying on with her official duties, uh, receiving uh, Boris Johnson here at Balmoral and then Liz Truss and asking her to form the next government and become the UK's next Prime Minister. So although the logical brain of course would say that uh, the Queen's reign would not last for much longer given her advanced years, uh, to think that she was still carrying out duties just three days ago, I think that's why people have been, or well, part of the reason why people have been so taken aback by the news that emerged yesterday. And I think we can listen now to some uh, comments from local people saying what the Queen meant to them. It's just very sad. She's been a monarch for over 70 years. And 
it's it's history and we just want to be here to share our condolences to her. Yeah. It's really sad news to hear actually, it's, uh, that's the reason we came, we were hoping to pass on our regards or just to be here, so it's kind of sad actually. Sad day? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. for everybody I think, yeah. I think the whole nation will come together and just, you know, feel the same. Yeah. Although, you know, you don't, you never knew her or anything, but her significance was, was just incredible. I mean, it doesn't really hit home, I don't think, until you hear something like this and um, what she meant to us and what she meant to the country. It's absolutely incredible legacy.